Oh, girls, I'm so sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel like... <laughs> what, no more, no more injuries? Well, I don't know. The future's unknown. I don't know. Hopefully, no more injuries in my future okay. career. So talk us through tonight. I'll do one at a time. Talk us through tonight. Talk us through your dance tonight. How did you feel? Um, my dance tonight, starting off with Jim, um, was... We love insane. Jim. I Come on. love Jim. You guys had such a good energy. And your questions were hilarious at the beginning. I really laughed. Thank you. Yes, Jim is amazing to work with. Like, Tell me about your first kiss, though. Who cares about everything else? Oh, my goodness. Uh, he's, like, straight to the point. We're going to pass this question. We're just going to slide on by here. I'm just going to glide away from that. Okay, real quick. Okay, no first kiss. Tell me about tonight. You and Jim. The energy was incredible. It was incredible. How did you feel? Um... The, I feel like there's no word to describe it. I, we finished and we were up there talking to the judges and I couldn't even hear what they were saying. I didn't know what was going on. I was one, I was like sitting there wondering. I was like, did I just do that? Is it over already? Like I blacked out. It was okay. amazing. Do you remember the performance? No. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, oh. Did I dance? <laughs> yeah. That was, it was like having an outer body experience. It was okay. amazing. Okay. Amazing. Well, we love you. Thank you so much. All right. Tell us about tonight. Come on, your partner. Um, well, I was partners with Alexa, yes. and we had burlesque jazz. We were sexy fish. Talk me about the fish. Can you do fish lips? Can we do fish lips? I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if fish lips were sexy, but the dance was incredible, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. We were, we, we were going for it. Like, it took some work because I... Struggled with the concept of a sexy fish. I'm not gonna lie, I struggled with the idea of it. But once I dove in, <laughs> once I dove in, I I felt like I really like you know went for it tonight. So I'm happy with how we performed. How can a dancer be a sexy fish? Just describe oh. the moments and the thoughts and what you actually went through. I think just you know the flip of your fin, maybe more like a mermaid. How do you do that? Flip of your fin. Hold on. Are we doing those ones? Fin. These oh. ones. Hold on, those ones. And those ones. I don't know, I a little say shimmy. I more of a mermaid than a fish. Right, I reckon too. Yeah. I think it's a mermaid. Yeah, more of a mermaid. Right. What's next? Um, dancing, of course. I'm going to keep dancing. I definitely want to start creating and choreographing, and I just want to travel, like, everywhere, because I haven't left the United States, and I feel like I need to. <laughs> and I want to travel and dance and share and, like, learn things from other countries and just learn about cultures and just, I just want to learn and like explore and just dance, all that good stuff. You know what, a high five. Traveling the world is the best thing that you'll ever do. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> high five. Congratulations. <laughs> and you, what's next? Oh my goodness, I don't even know. I want to share my craft. I want to learn more about myself and my dancing because I've been crossing over contemporary and hip hop for most of my life. So I want to be able to blend it and just share it with the world and share this experience with everybody. And we've just moved to California, right? Yes. I How are we liking it? I don't know. I've only been here. <laughs> I've been in this competition this whole time. So I'm excited to explore. Hold on. One moment. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Back in. Five, four, three, two. And what have we learned from this experience the most? Um, I've learned about my limits and pushing myself even though I think I've reached my limits already. Tell me about your body. Last week you were hurting. Last week I was hurting, but this week I'm feeling a lot better. So I'm, I was thinking maybe it was just like, like soreness or something. I can still push past that. So. Okay. okay, good. So it wasn't the reason why you were out this week? No. Okay. And your limits. Tell us about what has pushed you the hardest in being part of this competition. Is it the day-to-day -day schedule? Is it the amount of routines that you need to learn? Is it your dance partners? What has pushed your limits? Um, I'd say for me, it was more of not necessarily the dancing part, but just how I portray and like, you know, have characters because certain things I had to do on the show, I wasn't used to doing and I'm more Becoming an actor? Yeah, becoming an actor pretty much. Like I'm, I'm more of a subtle person and the way I read, it doesn't always come across well on camera. So I had to definitely work with like just expressing like bigger and better and sexy fishiness whenever necessary. What's your advice for someone who would want to follow in your footsteps? I'd say just train really hard. Um, dedicate your time to whatever you love to do, whether it's dance, art, whatever, music. Dedicate your time to the, the thing you love and it will reap and 
show the benefits through the love that you have for it. And you, you know how much I love you perform. I've been a big believer of you every week, and I'm really sad today that you were left. But what's your advice to people who have left the home country where they come from, they moved to a new city, they're doing new things every week, and it's super exciting, but it's kind of scary, right? What's your advice to them? Um, my advice to someone who's moving to a new place, meet people, absorb as much as you can. Um, if you have a craft, art, singing, whatever, make friends in that, make friends outside of that, and just apply it to everything. Anything is possible, people. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good night.